Have a seat. You seem very qualified in the air. I just have a few other questions I'd like to ask you. Okay, sure. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Great. I'd like you to speak into this microphone and read what's on this prompt. Okay, sure. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks again for flying with Upper Airlines. Uh, we're about an hour and a half from our destination with wonderful weather showing on a scanner of about 75 degrees with seven mile per hour winds. Thank you for flying up by your lens. Great. I notice a sigh in there. How long can you sigh? Oh. Uh, A little below average, but you'll get the hang of it. Next question. You're a little off course, and you need to make a slight adjustment, but you know the passengers are going to notice. What do you do? Um, blame it on turbulence and turn on the seatbelt sign. Excellent. Can you demonstrate that for me? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're uh, just turning uh, that your seats are up, and uh, we're tray tables, so uh, a about turbulence. And on this side, make sure to turn uh, seatbelts. Ah, well, that's not how to turn it. It's comfortable. Uh, Thanks for flying up here. Superb. Now, it's been a while since you've said anything, and everyone's really into their movies. Sorry for the interruption, everyone. Uh, we're in a sort of time, but uh, difficulties. Uh, be careful with that. Uh, the flight attendants will just protect them. Uh, make sure to uh, take care of them. Uh, Great. Uh, but, uh, just uh, sure, uh, and, uh, some magazines. I'm trying to keep it for the attendants. Uh, phones and... Uh, that's all. Thanks for flying up Ireland. Perfect. You completely passed this part of the test. I have one last question on a different note to test your problem solving abilities. Let's say you have 120 mile an hour headwind and your co pilot is unconscious and you have dual engine failure. What do you do? What was that? Sorry, I'm not getting it. Thank you for flying up by airlines. You're hired. I just got hired as a pilot. I start next I really week. don't care. Okay. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to come over here. You know, you can't take this on the flight, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. Okay. Now I'm just gonna have to do a routine check on the rest of the bag, all right? Oh, yeah. Those are nail clippers. I am so sorry, okay. Uh, that's a family heirloom, so. An heirloom, <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Is this mahogany? Yeah. Wow, very nice. Have you ever played bocce ball? It's pretty fun. That's what that <laughs> no is. Oh, yeah. kidding. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, well, I gotta get going. Wait, maybe if you're free sometime, we could hang out? 
Yeah, maybe. Cool. Well, oh, we're gonna have to check that, though. You used to be cool, man. Sir, can you come over here, please? Yeah. Those are just mints. It says, curiously strong? That's dangerous. There's nothing wrong with that. The barrel on this is too big. I was just planning on shooting some- Shooting? Confiscated. What? No, I was just- High res. Not bad, I'll get some nice shots with that. Sir. These are flammable. What size are they? 34. These are fine. That, however, will have to go. You can't just take my child. You're gonna be late for your flight, sir. Last call for flight 100 to Seattle. I'm so sorry. Now boarding passengers in zone one. You want to Sir, I'm gonna need you to come over here. What's the problem? There's something we picked up on the full body scanner. Well, it's wrong. I don't have anything on me. It's not that. The scanner picked up something around your esophagus that needs to be operated on immediately. The scanner couldn't possibly pick that the up. The scanner is never wrong, sir. Now listen to me very carefully. We have a protocol for this kind of situation. Well, I gotta go to the hospital There's then. no time for that. Now we have 911 on the line and we're prepared to do the operation on the conveyor belt. I confiscated this. We can't do the surgery here, I'll die! Not on my watch. If there's any team that can do this for you, it's the TSA. You really think so? <laughs> <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I actually stopped you because you're a minority. What? Well, you know the drill. Uh, sir? Mind if I take that toothpick? It can be used as a weapon. Miss? Yeah? You can store those under the seat. Oh, thank you. Welcome aboard Up High Airlines Flight 100 with jet service to Seattle. Please make sure your seat back and tray table are in the upright and locked position. Oh no, what if they aren't? Is the plane gonna crash? Ah! <laughs> um... Check that all carry-ons are placed under the seat in front of you. Like, what kind of carry-ons even fit under the seats? Like, like mouse luggage? <laughs> <laughs> well, if the seats are too cramped, you can leave a comment on our website, uphigh.com. Now, in your seat back pocket... <clears throat> the websites actually fly uphigh.com? Okay, sir? Yeah, 5D, are you heckling a safety demonstration? The one at United was way better. <laughs> they had a scorpion. No, that wasn't yeah. on purpose. Boo! You guys are the worst U.S. Airlines in the U.S. Wrong! We're the second worst U.S. Airline. Maybe get your facts straight before you spill your stupid all over my speech. What did you say? Uh, is your Nickelback playing too loudly? I said you are unintelligent. Unintelligent! Try spelling that in your head. That should shut you up for at least a few minutes. Down! I have a family to get home to! Who threw that? You wanna try it again? Throw it in my face this time! I dare you! Oh, oh. Yeah, what you gonna do now, Mr. Girly Man Voice? Okay, what's your name, sir? Jiggy. Jiggy? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be easy. Uh, is that a family name, or did your mom just really hate you? Actually, it was my dad's name. He, uh... He passed away before I was born. I am so sorry. Are you gonna cry about it? Oh, I'm going to destroy you. Come at me, bro. Hit me as hard as you can. As hard as you possibly can. <sighs> uh, is that all you got? You hit like a girl. No, no, wait. You hit like your late father. Oh, get into it. My nose isn't even all the way broken. All right. Air Marshal. 
Marshall. I'm detaining you. You can't stop me! You have to kill me! That's for the judge to decide. The judge is a pansy! He's my best friend! Sorry about that, folks. We're working to get this flight underway so you can all get home to Seattle! Man, thank goodness. That dude was a jerk. Folks, uh, we've reached our cruising altitude. Uh, feel free to turn on any electronic devices and uh, access our in-flight Wi-Fi. Thank you. Sorry. I was totally zoning out on your text. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, I do that too sometimes. <laughs> um, we, we just, um... No, no, I, I was laughing at a stewardess. Is it because of my nose? What? No. I knew it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just read too much the first time and I got sucked in, you know? It's very interesting. Like, when your dad said that the car accident might not have been an accident, I was like, what is that about? And when he said that he's gonna find the guys who did it, I was like, this dude is Liam Neeson. No, stop reading my text. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm being so nosy. Yeah. Are you talking about me again? No. Nose? No. She has issues. Yeah, so do you. Stay out of my business. You're right. I'm sorry. I will give you some privacy. Okay. Good night. Night. That is it. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm just so curious. I need a distraction mm -hmm. here. I got a magazine. I will leave you be. Why? That is it. I'm not strong enough. I will go to the bathroom, leave you totally alone. I'm so sorry. What in the world? The bathroom was occupied. You have a problem. I know. I promise I will stop. Just tell me what happens after he hits the guy with the tire iron. Wait, what? You might not have gotten into that part yet. Nope, okay, I'm sorry, no. I, I have to change No, things. no, 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 please, it's not no. my fault. Mm -mm. Social media's made me too invested no. in people's personal lives. Just tell me how it ends, please! Man, now I'll never know. No! Oh. Excuse me, sir. There's a first-class passenger experiencing some discomfort in his current seat. Would it be all right if he sat here? He's not gonna throw up on me, is he? Oh, no, he's harmless. Okay, well then, sure. Sir, you can have a seat here. You gonna sit? You must invite me to see it. It's, it's okay. I, I invite you to sit. Can I get you any snacks or anything to drink? Could I get a Virgin Bloody Mary, please? Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'll have one as well. Thank you. Yes, this blood is terrible. It's actually just tomato juice. Oh, well then it's pretty good for tomato juice. Hmm. It's impolite to stare. Sorry. What is your name? Jeremy. What's yours? Vlad. The scourge of Lodgia. Where are you from? Detroit. 
What are you doing in Seattle? What are you, some sort of question man? Do you work for the census? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Where are you from? South Dakota. What is your pant size? I didn't ask you that. What is your mother's maiden name? Van Helsing? Excuse me. Sir, I need you to take your seat. Guess how old I am. I don't know. 37? Wrong. 38. Well, you look great. You want to know my secret? A healthy diet. Wow. And I love Mexican food. I'm not Mexican. I love Chinese food. I'm not Chinese either. I love I Irish food. No, no, that's excuse not. me. Sir, I need you to stay in your okay, seat. Okay, yeah, all right. I will just. I'm sorry, but I changed my mind. I'd rather that guy not sit next to me. What's the problem? Look, I'm 96% certain that he is a vampire. Oh, rabbit. Sir, I think you're just being racist. No, I'm yep. not. You're I'm not, a racist, no, big no, old racist. No, look, okay, I'm not racist. I think he might be a little racist, but that's further down the list, all right? My point is, I feel legitimately threatened, and I am asking you, begging you, because you are the only person on this plane with any authority to help me. I have authority. I'm an air marshal. Will you help me? No. I'm going to pretend you didn't just do that. Uh. Oh. Sir, I need you to stay in your seat. 12B threw up during takeoff. You always know. I can spot the weak ones. All right, folks, we're gonna do one last lap to collect trash, but please get into your seats with seatbelts buckled to prepare for landing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Uh, we're beginning our descent now. Uh, estimated time of arrival in SeaTac Airport is uh, 7.30 a.m. local time. Uh, what are you doing, John? I'm just making sure the intercom's off. Sometimes that button sticks, but I think I got it. <laughs> So how's your ex-wife? Oh, same old hag as always. <laughs> She's just the worst, Robert. <laughs> Real piece of work. <laughs> I just, can I be honest? I wish she'd get electrocuted. <sighs> Ooh, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> Some weird-looking people on this flight today, right? <laughs> right. I was really watching. I thought they were all uggos, to be honest. <laughs> I had the same thought. That dude with the dog shirt? I mean, was his face even a face? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Captain Hansen, co-pilot Roberts. <sighs> what does Cheryl want now? I locked the door so we wouldn't have to see that dumb look on her face whenever she's like, Captain Hansen! <laughs> co-pilot Roberts! We're busy, Cheryl! <laughs> Woohoo! My painkillers are starting to kick in. I'm on a pretty hefty amount of Percocet from my knee surgery. Um, sir, you're not even supposed to drive when you're on painkillers. Oh, really? Well, I feel fine. Other than the blurry vision. <laughs> Look out, there's a bird! Oh, oh nope, sorry, Robert. <laughs> that was just my hand in front of my face. <laughs> well, shoot. Guess I always got you to land the plane for me, though. <laughs> uh, hopefully not. I've never actually landed a plane before. My instructor died before we got to that part because I crashed the plane. <laughs> Whoa, you're an animal, Robert. What can I say? <laughs> oh, John, you okay? I think we're tilting. <laughs> no, it's just my muscle relaxant. <laughs> I feel so relaxed right now. <laughs> Captain Hansen! Leave us be, Cheryl! Boys will be boys! Um, John, I was serious when I said I couldn't land this plane. And I don't think you're supposed to lean on the control board like that. But it's warming my belly fat, Robert! Steady's okay! Yeah, your drool is shorting out the circuit, sir. Why would you need to take off your belt right now? I can't sleep with my pants on, Robert. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, we're crashing! John, John, we're nowhere near the ground yet. No, that is definitely the ground! Oh, no, no, you're right, that's just a cloud. We know it's the ground! Oh, no, you're right. Hey, hey, Roberts, I never told you this, 
but uh, oh. I'm proud to call you my daughter. Sir, please take your hand off my face. <laughs> Sir? John? John, oh my goodness, John, are you dead? Oh, he's dead! We're going down! Hey, aren't you a pilot? Oh, man! We're all gonna die! I can't tell the difference between the sky and the sea! Hey, folks, we are just experiencing some slight turbulence. We should be free and clear in a moment. They haven't grant me serenity! May I go peacefully, and the passengers die in whatever way allows me to die peacefully! Is why we're not together anymore, John. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Yes, and comment on this video and give it a like. Yes, let us know in the comments if you would like to see more things like this where all the sketches kind of tied together. Mm -hmm. That was really fun for us. Um, but we don't have to do it if, you, if you're not into it, so let us know. Yeah, if you just like prefer your sketches small. And, and separate. We get that small and separate. Just like... Just holla, let us know. Mm-hmm.